one school in Dagenham, and it's the school's own staff who are donning high-vis tabards. Karen Welsh has the story. Come on guys, have a good evening. Bye, George of the Jungle. Hi, Grace. Hi. Natalie is new to this, but it didn't take her long to find her voice. You're meant to wait. She's a familiar face round here. Hey, Kamani, where are my high fives? Had a good day? Yeah? She already worked at the schools during the lunch hour. Now she's taken on an extra challenge. And tell us why it's needed, because there's a pedestrian crossing here. Because the traffic lights in the traffic, it builds up. So even when the green man, cars that have been waiting still come across. And we've had loads of accidents on that road down there with children being run over. The council used to pay for this service for 21 primary schools in the area, but because of budget cuts, they decided to stop it as it was costing £165,000 a year. Let's go, thank you. The infant and junior schools haven't had anyone doing this for three years, but now they've used their own funds to hire two lollipop ladies. I felt strongly with the executive head that we needed to replace the lollipop ladies. So we decided, we looked at the budget, and we decided we could do it, and that's what we did. So, and it's, they've, they've been absolutely brilliant. How are you finding it, Julie? Yeah, I'm happy enjoying it, seeing all the children across the road, and yeah, I'm happy enjoying my job. First of all, I was like, hmm, really? And then after, I was like, after the first day, I was like, I like it, like, I enjoy it. <laughs> what do you like about it? I like the kids. <laughs> I like speaking to the kids and just saying hello and how happy they are when, when they see you there. What do you not like about it? The weather. <laughs> Many of these jobs have been cut elsewhere and these are the only two in the borough. We've just two schools at the moment. I mean, it may be that other schools will, will have another look at this, but, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not optimistic. But here, parents and children are just happy to have lollipop ladies back. Tara Welsh, BBC London.